This video explains how to update a data frame using a function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called my data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains five rows and the two columns x1 and x2. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now in the next step, I'm creating a user defined function, which will take a data frame as input and which will perform a calculation based on this data frame and update this data frame. So we can do that as you can see in lines six to nine of the code. So in the first line of this user defined function, I'm specifying that I want to take a data frame as input. And then within the function, I'm specifying what I want to do with my data. So in this case, I want to take the square of all the values in our data frame. So if you run lines six to nine of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new function object is appearing, which is called myFun. And now in the next step, we can apply this function to our data set, myData. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that an output is returned and this output contains the values of our input data set, myData, to the square. However, if we print our data frame my data once again to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that our data set was not updated yet because the values of our data set are still the same as in the beginning of this tutorial. So if we want to use our function to update our data set, we have to assign the output of this function to a new data object. And in this case, I'm using the same name of our data object as the input name. So in this case, I'm overwriting the data object my data with the output of my function when I'm applying this function to my data set. So after running line 15 of the code, our data set is updated as we can see by printing our data set once again to the RStudio console by running line 16 of the code because now you can see that our data object, my data, contains the output of our function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.